this is the same voice sample. Ugh. your tunes. This time we got for the chopping block is uh, something Mickey Mouse related. It is uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Mickey Mouse keyboard. And this is literally meant in the box and hasn't been opened until now. Doing this all in one take. So. All right, got the sucker out. That and done. So, I've been shot up some requests to actually destroy a Mickey Mouse related toy. And so why not go with something simple like a keyboard? Because why not, you know? Keyboards like these, I mean, they can, be plagued with problems and such, like that one Sean K video I saw, link will be in the description below if you want to go check it out and you know, go subscribe to him and all. And yeah, let's give this toy some crap. Like for some reason in the try me mode, Mickey's exact same voice is sampled five times, like anytime you press one of these buttons, you'll say the exact same thing. See if you could figure out why. I can't even play the piano without you interrupting me. So complicated. Oh, so delayed. <laughs> it plays like Nintendo Entertainment System music, literally, just by the sounds of it. I wish I could learn how to play the piano, but I don't know, I'm too focused on filmmaking. But yeah, I do these in my pastime. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's play a song. I don't know how. That's the best I can do. Do you know that the notes go? Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Oh yeah, just like good old Mike Mozart. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is little toys programmed with different games. You're supposed to press the right note here. This was programmed better. What is this? Okay. Oh, yeah, Let's see what I could do here. A little homage to Jeepers Media, why not? All right, as opposed to smashing this toy outside in the sweltering heat, why not do it here in the closet? Because after all, that's never been done. I mean, really. And I noticed mom tends to keep these tools lying around, including um, an extra BAM Slam gadget. I give Dubtastic all the credit just to let him know that I am not the creator of uh, the Bam Slam gadget. He is. And yeah, you know, just pay tribute to him after he got terminated. 
He's still trying to reinstate his account. Yes, I did message him about it. And, you know, just tells me all this, you know, he's trying to reinstate his account and to give me credit for uh, using his gag in my videos. Well, I mean, just this is just a shout out to him for this inspiration. And yeah, let's go with this. I don't care who you are. play a song right here. <laughs> what the frick did I just do? It's still lighting up. The second I drop it on the floor, the damn thing breaks. What could I have broken in here? Anyway, let's dismantle the toy. Something that hasn't been done before. Okay, there we go. What could I have damaged in here anyway? Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work anymore. What could I have destroyed in here, anyway? Well, there goes that toy, obviously. I was gonna reconstruct it, but still. Like, the, these little white wires came off connecting to the battery compartment. It was doing fine when I was slamming and bamming it with it. Bam slam gadget or just a hammer, but when I drop it on the floor, it just malfunctioned. What could I have damaged in here anyway? Oh, wait. Yeah, it's probably this. This thing came off. Yeah, probably must have been that. Come on, man. I wanted to destroy it while it was still lighting up. Let's keep destroying it just because it's fun. Work! Well, this is what happens when you come on loose to the battery compartment. I don't normally do this in my house, but my mom's not around. That's why I do destruction videos outside. This is just gonna be an exciting video, and then I had to dismantle the toy just to figure out what had happened. Ugh. That's the thing with making videos here. Not everything goes as planned. Get this out of here, and then we'll have all the keys loose. Ugh. Knocking its teeth in. Knocked your teeth in, Mickey. I noticed this one destroyed. So we got so far of the Mickey Mouse uh, keyboard. I think my fondest memory of watching Mickey Mouse was probably in the fifth grade. It was like at lunchtime and we were like having a PJ party. Like, there were only a few students in the classroom, like some of my classmates. Um, you know, we flipped the projector on to Playhouse Disney just because we didn't know any better. Well, I mean, because the cool thing about my school is just that 
the projector can also project television. And um, we use that for when we were tuning into our school's station or broadcast Shark TV. And I was featured on there a few times. I guess that's it. break something, pieces go flying everywhere. It's like glass, almost. I'm trying to bend Mickey. Forget it. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, as for that little Mickey Mouse Clubhouse incident. I actually had my camera with me. I remember just filming it. Like I had it on YouTube, but that was on my old Jackson Labs account. My God, revisiting that video. I'm just thinking, how would I not shut up? Either because I'm watching a kid's show or just seeing this show with all my other classmates in school. I mean, really. That's the thing about memories, you know? I mean, I am graduating high school real soon. This little board there. And these are the remaining buttons. Pop right out. And they have different colors on the bottom. Ooh, I wonder if they're trying to go negative. But yeah. Total Mickey Mouse keyboard. Thanks for watching. Now overall, did you think this was win or fail? Put your suggestions down in the comments below. And don't forget to rate, favorite, subscribe, and share. Thanks again.